Ho, 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 ho. So, as the intro suggested, <laughs> I'm so sorry for the sudden falling off of my tripod because she's not stable. And I'm currently in this bed that is wood, so nagbebench whenever I whenever I move. So today, I am naked. I don't even know if YouTube allows. Okay, I've seen a lot of naked people on YouTube. So I guess this is part two of my how series. Today I'm going to answer a question, how to love yourself. I'm naked right now to show how much I love myself. Because being naked in front of people with this physique i mean i'm pretty proud of my body but it's just a show of bravery and boldness to strip down and tell people how to love themselves so i'm naked because i'm trying to make a statement that i love myself i love all of me i value all of me i appreciate all of me and i accept all of me so yeah, ho 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 ho's, <laughs> this is the part 2 of my how series and today we're going to answer the question, how to love yourself. It's really a vital thing to love yourself, it's so significant, it's so important because loving yourself can only be done by you, from the word yourself you have to love yourself. Loving yourself can be hard. It was a tough ride for me because at first I was not happy with the way I am. I was not content contented with the way I looked and I developed body dysmorphia or excessively criticizing and scrutinizing every part of my body. And I even questioned God why did I look like this? Why is my body have these defects, have these imperfections, have this stretch mark, have this much fat? <laughs> I've been there and I've done that. Been there, done that, bitch. So today I just want to promote self-love, self-care, and self-appreciation. I'm going to teach you a concept. I call this concept Lava Concept, like L-A-V-A. -A. Lava is what you should do to yourself. L stands for love, A stands for appreciate, V stands for value, and A stands for accept. You should love, appreciate, value, and accept yourself. That is a friendly advice. Now, number one. Yes, I have this again because the recycled paper. Number one is sleep properly. You may find it weird like, how can I love myself by sleeping properly? By fixing your body clock and sleeping in an early hour. You will let yourself rest. Rest is very essential part of life. If you don't rest, <laughs> you must not love yourself. You must not love the life you're currently living. Because if you're not sleeping properly, that means you are sad. You are seeking for answers. You are seeking for love, affection, and attention. So, but <laughs> you should sleep properly you should let your body rest and have at least 8 to 12 hours of sleeping time especially at night by sleeping properly and waking up early you can love yourself in that way i promise you you will show your body you will show yourself that it is possible to change that you are fully capable of change 
and by just flipping up your body clock you will feel amazing and your stress levels will go down for you are well rested and ready to face life so that is rule number one it's not a rule it's like a tip number one number two is love what you see i urge you and i challenge you to look i mean get a mirror right now and look in that mirror look in that mirror this is the mirror that i'm gonna use because bitch i have a camera look in the mirror and apply number two love what you see what do i mean by love what you see love is a big word and love takes a lot of patience acceptance and appreciation so i urge you to love yourself again i've already explained the concept of love and i urge you to you know love yourself look in the mirror and challenge yourself ask yourself questions do i love myself am i contented with the way i look or do i hate myself how why do i hate myself how can i love myself after you've answered those questions you will come to a conclusion and you will soon find a solution to a key a motherfucking key in loving yourself trust me and just answer those questions do i love what i see am i contented with the way i look do i love my body if not, why don't I love my body? Am I not enough? Am I enough? Answer those questions and you will come up and you will fully jump into a conclusion. And hopefully you will find a solution on how to love yourself. R Tip number three is don't be so self-critical, bitch. All of us fail. All of us make mistakes. All of us are dumb sometimes. Don't be so self-critical, meaning don't be so hard on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because if you are hard on yourself, that's just you being a stranger to yourself because that being a stranger you don't know yourself you don't know what you've been through you don't know what you've survived but if you are self-critical you're just like a be you're just like being a stranger to yourself but since you are yourself you should know what you've been through you should know what you survived and what you should know how to love yourself don't be a stranger to yourself because you know you that is tip number three don't be so self-critical rule tip number four is learn how to rest like rule number one states sleep properly that's part of rest but rest also include giving yourself a break because life is so hard if if you are alone in your own struggles life can be so tough life can, life can be so sad you may feel like you have no purpose and you have no direction in life but if you let yourself rest and live to fight another day you will find the answers that you are seeking Step number five is push yourself up. In the Philippines, we develop this kind of mentality which is called crab mentality. That we can't be happy for other people's achievements because, you know, we are our progress is not the same as theirs. So instead of being happy for them, we push them down. So again, rule number Tip number five is push yourself up. In a country where people push others down, you should push yourself up. Develop a coping mechanism that will push yourself up. 
of what after being brought down by a stranger put push yourself up because if you are alone if you have a friend vent vent on them be emotionally vul vulnerable with them because it's important to have communication in this time of socially distance era and isolation tip number six is please no one please no one how are you going to love yourself by pleasing no one because when you love yourself you please yourself you do what pleases you you do what gives you pleasure but if you please people you will lose yourself trust me because you will be doing what they are saying you will be following their steps instead of following your heart and your mind so yeah motherfucking please no one no one no one no one please no one girl please no one number seven is be contented be contented it may be kind of vague and too familiar but being contented is the best being contented with where you are now is you will love yourself because that is life we will soon grow but once we are in this spot we are in a place full of darkness we are just little seeds that is that need some sunlight and water to grow we have to be contented with being in the bottom being lost in the soil right now we have to be contented in that because that is just a phase in our life and if we could identify which is the sunlight and the water in our lives we will soon grow just be patient and be contented and don't be irritated by noises outside <laughs> no i was just kidding again be contented be contented with how you look be contented with your body be contented with your family with your livelihood with your social status with your gender be contented with what you have that is the best feeling in the world and number eight is strive to be healthy loving yourself is not just like mentally and emotionally you should love yourself physically don't inflict pain in yourself because that's not going to give you answers that is never going to give you answers and if suicidal thoughts come to mind please call someone or talk to someone you can be emotionally vulnerable with emotionally vulnerable meaning you can open up and vent to that person I'm very close and I'm very tight with my two friends, Shazi and Athena. Shazi and Athena can be considered as best friends because they are the best. They are the friends that I've cried with. And trust me, this bad bitch rarely cries. So when I cry with them, I feel... I feel like I'm not alone because even though we are socially and currently distanced, we are calling bitch and that's really important, girl. That is really important. Again, rule number eight is strive to be healthy, not just mentally and emotionally, but also physically. Don't inflict pain in yourself. And when suicidal thoughts come to mind in is you need to call a friend you need to be reminded of your worth you need to be reminded of how important you are and that it will all go well soon that it will all be all right because it is gonna be all right this is my favorite one because i just relate to it 
tip number nine is compliment yourself or accept compliment from someone. Complimenting yourself is a really... It's a good thing, complimenting yourself. By complimenting yourself, you will learn the concept of love little by little. You will learn how to love, appreciate, value, and accept yourself by complimenting yourself. You don't need to compromise. You don't need to stop being yourself. You don't need to pretend to be like someone. Because compliments will just arise if you are being yourself. I've received so much compliments from very strong and phenomenal people. And I just want to say thank you to those who had the courage to compliment an intimidating bitch like me. Thank you very much for having the courage to compliment my big fat ass. Thank you so much. And... Uh, you know, learn how to accept compliments. By accepting compliments and not declining them, you will see how worth it you are. You will see your value. You will see everything. You will see your damn worth. And the last but never the least on how to love yourself is pray. Pray to God our Lord. I promise you if you are Catholic and or if you are come to a religious background and you have a God, please pray to that God. Please g seek guidance, protection, and please talk to Him. If you are an atheist, then good for you. But if you have religious beliefs, please stick to that belief and please don't let go of your God. Please seek guidance, help, and protection. And please pray and talk to him or her or it. Oh my God, I'm so sorry if religious people are offended. But if you have a God or something or someone you believe in, please pray to them. They will give you all the answers that you need and they will be the bestest comfort you'll ever have in times of isolation and loneliness. So that is all. Again, I'm still naked. Not like completely because windows are open and my big fat ass cannot be seen through a window. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope you appreciate this video and thank you so much. If you even finished this video, thank you for having the courage to finish this video so goodbye i hope you learned how to love yourself and i hope you will apply some of these yeah thank you very much and i will put this list down in the description box and like subscribe and comment if you want to but if you don't want to honey that's also okay because i'm not that desperate <laughs> You know so yeah subscribe like comment if you love what you see and please remember the concept of love love appreciate value and accept yourself goodbye again I'm queen baby love treat me like a queen pamper me like a baby and love me like there's no other love so yeah and goodbye i hope you enjoyed the showings of my clavicle goodbye